Finally, I'm almost out of this crypt. But this isn't the world I remember. Cadence of Hyrule looks absolutely fantastic and may even dethrone Link's crossbow training as the best Zelda spin-off. May, that's a tall order. But what exactly is this game? Well, it's technically a sequel to Crypt of the Necrodancer, featuring the world and characters of The Legend of Zelda. But what's Crypt of the Necrodancer? Alright, let's rewind. It was released in 2015 by Brace Yourself Games. This was their very first game, and as of right now, it's their only released game. It was ported to PlayStation 4 and Vita in 2016, Xbox One in 2017, and Nintendo Switch in 2018. Crypt of the Necrodancer is a roguelike, and that word usually puts me to sleep, but there's something about the progression and flow of Crypt that manages to keep me invested. So the game progresses in a somewhat linear fashion, where you go from zone to zone battling increasingly harder enemies, but the dungeons will have different layouts every single time. You start off with just a dagger, but you make your way through three floors picking up as many items as you can until you face down against a boss. There's an element of luck, as if you find a powerful weapon early on, you'll decimate your way through the dungeon. But almost every tool has an advantage over another, and there are limitations on exactly how many you can carry at a time. So that's all fairly standard for a roguelike, but what makes Crypt of the Necrodancer special? Well, it's part rhythm game. Listen to the music for a moment. Every beat is an opportunity to move. If you manage to maintain that beat while taking down enemies, the gold you collect multiplies. So as you're hopping around these crypts taking down gangs of monsters, you're going to want to do so while maintaining your rhythm. You'll just lose your multiplier if you slip up, but if you lose your rhythm while taking on a giant enemy, you might miss your window to strafe out of its way. And you don't want that. It's not an easy game, especially if you can't find a weapon to replace your puny dagger early on, but if you manage to pick up diamonds within the crypts, you can visit a shop before you jump back in to help yourself out. The game makes you feel like you're always progressing, and by having only 5 zones to complete, this isn't necessarily an endless game, as there is a definitive ending, but you can play it endlessly, not to mention all the different variant modes, co-op, and other characters to play around with. This is a bustling game under a simple structure and simple premise. So Cadence of Hyrule seems to open things up substantially. Crypt of the Necrodancer takes place entirely in a crypt, but in Cadence of Hyrule, it looks like we'll be exploring overworlds in a similar style to Four Swords Adventure. You can also now see your weapons in real time, which is something I really admire. The lack of visual feedback could sometimes be a bit of an issue in the original game. That said, elements of Crypt of the Necrodancer's world are still very much in Cadence of Hyrule. Notice how the chews bear a striking resemblance to the slimes. Blue ones will even hop from tile to tile, while the green ones stay stationary. And the shielded Stalfos works much like an armored skeleton, where one hit knocks off their shield, and the next will defeat them. If we hit them from the side, they'll probably go down in one hit. The Puffstall, again, act like mushrooms in Crypt of the Necrodancer, and so on and so forth. A few of these enemies seem new to Crypt of the Necrodancer, but there are a few that are clearly mimics of past versions. Though the merchant hasn't been replaced. This is the same guy from Crypt, and even seems to speak this time. And of course, he still sings along with the track. Listen to him sing along with Tao Tao Heights. And this time, I have help. <laughs> So, if you haven't already, check out Crypt of the Necrodancer. Cadence of Hyrule looks like an outstanding sequel, not just for the Zelda license, but for the scope and visual enhancements. We really can't wait to play this game, and we're so happy it's happening. But what do you guys think of Crypt of the Necrodancer? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Cadence of Hyrule, and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye.